So I want us to do something um, right here at the very beginning. Um, last June, I, I kind of want to just start here. Last June, I had a vision, not this June, but 21. Uh, June the 6th, I was in a time of worship, and I saw this vision of the Lion of Judah standing off the East Coast. Now, I was in Florida when I had this vision, and I saw the Lion of Judah standing, and I mean, it was a, like a huge lion. He was standing out over the Atlantic from about where, from New York down to D.C. So that's your corridor, right? Okay, so... And I don't think I've actually shared this within that corridor. So this will be the first time I'm sharing it. I think it's because it's time. Everybody say it's time. And so I saw him standing on the Atlantic Ocean and he started to roar over the United States. But the place that he began to roar was right up here in this corridor from, from New York down to D.C. And when he roared, this region began to shake. How many are excited about the shaking? <laughs> yeah, until it starts to shake, okay? <laughs> the Lord said, listen, don't be afraid of the shaking. He said, the shaking's going to be your making, okay? But everything that can be shaken is going to be shaken so that that which cannot be shaken remains. But we serve a kingdom that's unshakable, amen? So in this vision, he began to roar over this region, and this region started to shake, and then it began to ripple throughout the United States, and it was like ripples going across the nation as he roared and he roared, and the, and the whole nation started to ripple with the shaking from the roar of the Lord. And then I saw from the roar and the shaking that he was bringing, I saw from this eastern coast over here, I saw it like almost like a fog, like a black, dark fog that was hovering over the nation. And I saw this fog just begin to roll back from the East Coast, and it started rolling back across the nation. And the Lord said, I'm going to use the shaking to, to begin to strip away the covering of corruption that has held things in place in the nation. And then I saw something. I saw that as that that began to happen, I saw in response to the sound of the Lord, the roar of the Lord that was coming from this region, I, I saw congregations like this with our gathered worshiping, with our hands lifted up and our mouths open, shouting and praising the Lord, and all of a sudden our mouths turned into the mouths of lions. It was, it was quite the sight, let me just say, okay? I looked really cool with a, with a mouth of a lion, okay? And, and all of a sudden, our mouths turned into the mouth of a lion, and we began to join the sound of the roar of the lion of Judah, and it continued to cause this uncovering, and it co continued to cause this exposure that God was saying it's time to begin to bring things to a point of exposure, amen? The next thing that I saw is that I saw that while our mouths were being released with a new sound, the sound of the roar of the Lord, and God took me to uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 16, and it says, the Lord shall roar from Zion. Who is Zion? We are Zion, okay? The Lord shall roar from Zion and utter his voice from before Jerusalem. Then it says, the heavens and the earth will shake. Now, let me just tell you how it says it in Hebrews. Just hold that scripture right there. What it says in Hebrews chapter 12, when it talks about the heavens and the earth will shake, it actually says in the Passion Translation, it says, the Lord says, I will shake the, uh, I will shake the systems of this world and the unseen hidden powers. I will shake the systems of this world and the unseen hidden powers. How many believe that's what God is doing right now? Amen. So it says the heavens and the earth will shake, but the Lord will be a refuge. Another translation says a shelter for his people. So hear what the Lord is saying. And I felt that this is the first time I've said it this way. And I feel like it's especially for you. The Lord says, I will be a shelter in the shaking. 
And the people of this region need to hear this. God will be a shelter in the shaking. Say that with me. A shelter in the shaking. This word shelter in Hebrew means God will be a protection from danger, from storms, and listen to this, and from falsehoods. Is that amazing? A, a, a protection from danger, a protection from storms, and a protection from falsehoods. Just lay hands on your eyes and say, God, I'm going to see the truth. I'm going to know the truth, and the truth is going to make us free. And then it says, God will be the strength of his people. How many believe that God's, get, God's downloading strength? If you heard what the Lord was saying in worship, God was just not just saying, I'm going to give you strength to get through it. He was saying, I'm going to give you strength, supernatural strength, that's going to empower you to be my ecclesia, to be the difference makers, to be those that roar, that shake the heavens and shake the earth. And the Lord says, that's going to come out of my people's mouth. Now let me show you, share one last little part of that vision. As we began to roar, as the Lord was roaring and the nation was shaking, the nation was trembling, <laughs> I saw people, <laughs> I just have to laugh, okay? I saw people standing in front of cameras. I'm talking about media people, political heads, all the talking heads that we see on TV. And out of their mouth, now, I won't ask for a show of hands, how many remember the movie Liar, Liar? I know y'all aren't that saved, okay? Okay. For those of you that are more holy than the rest of us, okay, it was an old movie about Jim Carrey, and I forget why, but for some reason he couldn't tell a lie. And I saw this happening. These people would get up to do the news, and they would just tell the truth. The, the politicians would get in front of the cameras, and they would just blurt out the truth. And actually, if you actually watch, it's already been happening. If you really watch... It's already been happening. And so I want you to be very watchful for this. How many here are watchmen? We're going to watch this unfold because the Lord is saying they're going to be ensnared by the words of their own mouths. And they're going to tell the truth. And some of them are just going to start telling the truth and realizing they've put it out there. And they're not even going to try to back up. They're going to be like, okay, there's nothing I can do. I'm already trapped, so I'm going to double down on it, okay? 